everybody Ann here sitting here in front of the tiny house having my coffee with all of you lovely people and today is a beautiful beautiful sunny day after days and days of torrential downpour and as a result of these torrential downpours I decided I needed to start a project basically I have taken what many of you suggested and kind of expanded it a little bit it's <laughs> good morning Romeo it's not complete yet. I've just started on it, so I'm going to show you that in a little while. Um, I'm trying to see. Do I have any schmung on my face? I, gosh, every morning, I should wash my face before I, I do my little good morning thing. Anyway, um, i got to do some planting today. Um, I need to gather some downed limbs from around my property because you, you just hear it when it rains and we have a lot of wind. I just hear a crack, thud, crack. Thud. And you know there's there's wood laying out there, so I gotta go gather it up. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you what I did, and I'm gonna look at the sunlight, show you what the sunlight looks like first thing in the morning, and this may be at least in part a, an explanation for why some of the tomato plants, well, the tomato plants and some of the other plants aren't doing as well out on the garden bed side of the garden. So uh, I just need to get going. Look at the egg hall for today. Yep. Those leghorns are annoying, but they sure do lay pretty eggs. And then look at this. That's got to be Coco. That's got to be Roxy. And this has to be Miss Pris. Look at, look at how little it is. It's got little speckles all over it. She'll get regulated eventually and start laying bigger ones. Almost looks like a quail egg. It's so cute. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just, well, it belongs, but it's not the same. Look at that one leghorn, the size of that comb. Not a single other one of the leghorns has a comb like that. So I don't know if this chicken inherited a big comb from the Easter egg or rooster and is still a hen, or if this chicken is a rooster. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. It's a big, big comb. Look at that. I don't know. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see, though, right? It's also the biggest, biggest one of those. I filmed this last night. You can tell by the sounds of the rain. This is the drainage situation that's going on. I've been moving some dirt. It's still getting back here. I need to shore it up a little bit better. Put more dirt over in this area but it is working a little bit i dug a hole it's not very big yet it's gonna get bigger it's gonna get deeper but i also have dug a little ditch i think it's far enough away from the tiny house it's not finished yet either i need to dig down a little bit more put some rocks in the bottom of it and have it drain out this way i need to do just a little bit more digging but then just have it go down that way. So this is my little project. I would like to build a little pond here. Put a little liner at the bottom of the hole. And like I said, it's going to get much bigger. I just got started on it yesterday. So this is going to be a big project. I'm going to dig closer to the hillside and out further to the left as well. I'll just make this a water feature so this won't drain so bad anymore. You know, it's still coming into the yard. Yep. But it will improve. See, I got me a little river going on in here. It'll improve and I'll be able to get it fixed eventually. It's about 8.30 a.m. And I just wanted to kind of give myself a, a record of what the sun is like this early in the morning. There's already sun shining on these parts. The pallet garden is still shaded. And over here, the sun is coming through, but you can see I've got that gate there. And that gate is preventing quite a bit of sun from coming through over on here. So I'm going to have to figure something else out for this gate, I think. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like later on in the day, how the sun shines. But if you look at that garden bed with the tomatoes in it, there's no sun on it just because of the way the tiny house is. Some of it's getting sun in the morning, but not a lot. Yeah, I'll have to figure this out. 
Here are the same areas at about 11.30 a.m. And this whole area gets a lot, a lot of sun all back in here. Yep, those tomatoes get plenty of sun. The pallet garden is still shaded, but that'll change. And over in this area, it is now getting a ton of sun. 11.30 a.m. All of these beds are getting plenty of sun, but the sun it's getting, they're getting is hotter. See, the tomatoes are all getting sun. So we'll just have to see if it's a sun issue or if it's a nutrient issue. I don't know. I'll figure it out, though. And now Papa gets his freedom. box off because the little babies have flown away look at this mess they've all flown away but there was one more egg in there so I think she started to lay eggs I had to put it back there because I can't keep this covered forever I need to see if my worms are alive so what the heck what <gasps> it's a potato oh my gosh Look at that, you guys. Two potatoes are sprouting in here. I had forgotten I put them down in there. I didn't think they'd sprout in here, but duh, they're in dirt. Who knows what else is sprouting in there? Oh my gosh, I have a potato bin going right here. I've got those two potato bags, but you know what? I may just go ahead and let them grow in here. I need to get some soil to hill them up a little bit. I don't know if they'll last. Check it out. That is hilarious. Are there any worms that growing in here though? I don't know what all that stuff is. Here, let me put my gloves on. We're out in the sun now. What is this? That's an old rotten apple. I'm gonna leave it. Are there any worms? I doubt it. I th oh my gosh, there's still worms in here. Look at, they all survived. Look at these worms, look. Oh, I can't believe they survived all that time with me not even doing anything. Just goes to show you, doesn't take a whole lot to raise a bunch of worms. Look at this one. It practically looks like a snake. Look at that. Oh, tons of really big ones. There's tons of small ones too. And I made the executive decision. Look at this. Oh my gosh. There's so many worms in here. Um, I'm not going to let the potatoes grow in here. I'm going to put them back in here. But this is a little bit dry, so um, I'm going to add just a tiny bit of moisture and cover it back up with that brown paper. I may even shred up some more brown paper in here. I just took the potato and tore it apart. I am going to put them back in. Um, but I'm not going to grow potatoes in this bucket. This has to be a worm bucket. I need to get some actual seed potatoes because I'm not going to expend a bunch of you know, soil on potatoes that may not give me any potatoes but the worms can still kind of eat off this if they want to it doesn't look like they've really been eating it because they've had plenty of bedding to eat but this worm bin is thriving I mean I, I just literally cannot believe it 
I just got that brown paper nice and soggy wet, and then I sprinkled a little bit more water on top. I figured that will be enough. Put the lid back on, snap both handles, and put it back in the shed. Just taking a little break until I go work on my little pond slash drainage project. I'll show you that in the next video because this video is getting pretty long already. And Papa is having a wonderful time going out and running around with me. He sticks right by me. <sighs> it's bliss. It really is awesome. Anyway, um, I'm going to get back to work and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.